Hello and welcome to Shot About It with your host Tisa and this is May May and this is Martha Martha <laughs> and can you hear me? Oh Shelby I'm in Wallingford Connecticut and I'm drinking Jim Beam Peach oh. I already forgot what I was supposed to say sorry it's Martha in Phoenix Arizona and I'm drinking Jim Beam Honey I apologize. It's okay. And we're drinking <laughs> Crown Royal Apple. Right? No, I do have Jim Bean honey. I like that. You don't like it. It's too sweet. No, it was the maple I didn't like. You didn't like the honey either. The maple was too sweet. Everything's too sweet. Yeah. So, everybody's in quarantine. Have you guys ventured out? Mm. I went to... I've gone to the grocery store. Um, and I picked up food. Um, Garcia's is, is right around the corner for me, and I just don't want them to lose too much money. So we've been picking up there like once a week. <laughs> Which Garcia is the original on Thirty Fifth and McDowell? Yes. Oh, you live. So you live by my parents' no, house. Peoria. Oh, never mind. I'm Thirty Fifth and Peoria. Never mind. No. It's not the original. No. No. The OG. It's the one they. No, it's yeah. But I I always like that one. On 35th and Peoria. It's okay. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just silently judging you. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and we should say how we know each other. I've known Martha and Shelby both over 20 years, I think, both of them. And have you guys ever met at Willow House at all? You know, you look very familiar. Like, your face looks familiar. So maybe I've seen you before, but I don't recall, no. But that doesn't mean we have. So. It's true. <laughs> True. I mean, we could have hung out and chatted in line while getting a latte or something. Or sitting around hanging out. Yeah. Possible. Yeah. We're lively. <laughs> Shelby, have you ventured out of your house? Um, well, when all of this started, I actually was in Arizona. Um, but I live in Connecticut. Uh, so I spent the entire month of March and part of April in Arizona and then came back here and I go to work one day a week and there's nobody there, which is scary. Um, and I do the shopping for my aunt and uncle who are both in their seventies. And honestly, I go shopping a lot at the grocery store because I need to get out of the house. So, like, you know, I'm just going to show you what I did today. Holy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I buy a lot of groceries because it's the only thing in Connecticut that's open right now. That's how it is here. And I go to the grocery store, like, two or three times a week. That's how it is until today. And then all the barber oh, today. shops opened because... it's. Do you guys wear masks when you go out? It's the, yeah. it's, um, in Connecticut, there's an executive order we have to, or we're not allowed to go inside of, um, the building. Well, you know, Arizona's pretty dumb, so most of the people are not wearing masks. We went to Fry's the other day, and we took the kids with us, and we all have masks, um, that we purchased from my niece, Oaks and Indigo. Check her out on Instagram and Facebook. And they, like, 99% of the people weren't, weren't wearing masks. And it, it was scary that people don't care. Plus, we live in a kind of entitled area, Sun City surprise area, where people think that it's not going to happen to them. Well, our state I, is pretty I, I, conservative anyway. So, whatever mm-hmm. douchey says goes. Plus, Trump was just here. Huh. Fun. Yeah, you have it. <laughs> and, um, I mean, we're right next to New York, so pretty much whatever New York does, we have to mirror right now because New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey, we all kind of work together. We have so many people who live in Connecticut but work in New York and New Jersey, so we kind of are on serious lockdown just like New York is, so it's pretty serious back here. Yeah, it's pretty scary. And uh, oh, the yeah. governor in New York, Como, he's doing a good job. There's nothing bad oh, I've seen totally... that he's done, including talking yeah. back to the president. Mm, 
I kind of have a liking for him right now. Yeah. Mm. I agree. Well, we now, should... Now, in Arizona, you guys, did you guys open back up? A little bit. The hair salons are open right now, and, and then, then on Monday they're opening some more of the retail restaurants shops. and restaurants, re- yeah, and bars. You can go to the bar, but you have to wear a mask. Yeah, I don't understand what that was about. <laughs> like, what is? So you're like, like so you can wait, like, have a mask. Like, it's like for like this, and then you're like, okay, shot, and then you go back like this. No idea. I guess, but let's practice it. Let's take a shot. Let's so, practice it. Ready? I'm not going to go to the bar, though. Screw them. Cheers. Cheers. To our first guest. Martha, uh, come on! That are us. I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you all froze. <laughs> it's different I when you haven't been drinking already. Me. Ooh, but it's so delicious. So it's just still so good going down. It's burning. My innards. It's burning your innards. It's burning my innards. Okay. Maybe it'll get all those allergies gone. Maybe. It'll kill all of our allergies, all this liquor. You know what my dad says about alcohol? What is he It's cough syrup. Oh, it's cough syrup. When you get a cold or something, it's cough syrup. My dad has a hot toddy every time he gets sick. He's just like... Yeah. I she, snarks at my I house. think she was just trying to get me to get drunk so I would stop talking. <laughs> when you were a baby? <laughs> my mom used to pay me to talk. Your mom used to what? I made some My mom would pay me to stop talking and leave them alone. Oh. Hmm. That's well, a thought. <laughs> you, you came I, from a lot of privileged family. <laughs> we just got the shit knocked out of us and we wouldn't stop talking, so... And I come from a family of too many, and then all of us are talking, and you're never heard. Yeah. <laughs> and you? I'm just trying to think of how to bribe Elias to stop talking about FNAF. So we have a 14-year-old that con- today he was in and out of her office. I was going crazy. He'd come in and knock and just ask about food all day long. Like, can I eat this? Can I eat and that? And then like- every time he asked me a question, he'd turn to Tisa. Is that okay, Tisa? Yeah, because before we weren't in the looking eye to eye, we weren't matching up on our things that we would say. But I've been trying to stop being such a asshole. <laughs> My parenting is way different than hers. She's very chill and like I'm very disciplined. I'm like, you need to clean. You need to do this. You need to listen uh, to me. You better not. From a of how many? Okay, that makes a big difference, I guess. You know, there was eight of us, and my mom, we we freaking, she was the queen. We listened to her. And still now, like, I didn't shave. I wanted to shave my head my whole life. I didn't shave it until 2012. And so that's a really long time. So glad you did. Yep. Did we? I remember your hair. My afro? Your hair. (laughs) Yeah. Afro hair. Whips on the top. (laughs) Yeah. Now I shave it. Every, I try to do it every week. And then tonight, Amanda's going to shave hers. We'll see. Now if Sindel if Sindel chickens out, I don't know. Is Sindel going to shave her head too? Yeah, they were going to do it. Like they were going to do an eight all around though. Oh, okay. Cuz she just shaved she just cut her own hair cuz it was long and she cut it. Because she wanted to cut it. And then now she says she wants to shave it. So Amanda was like, I'll shave it too. We should just shave it. And now she's backing out on it, I think. Are you backing out on it? Oh, well, it's hard to... No? No. I'm thinking about it. But it's just hair and it grows back. Yeah. yeah. Shelby, didn't you shave your head? But I was just going to say, but when I was a sophomore in high school, I shaved, I shaved mine. And it took forever, ever to grow back. So... When people are like, oh, it grows back. You know what? Go fuck yourself. And spend, you know, a year and a half of your high school years looking like a little baby dyke. It's not. But you fun. were, so it's okay. Uh, that's true. But, I, I, you know, I'm so grateful for my gorgeous locks now because. What do you mean by doing I, an eight uh, all around? 
It's the length. It's length. Martha, have you, have you ever shaved your head? Shortest I've ever gone was like um like kind of a short boy haircut. The bob that like, second grade. Oh. Um, didn't you have a bob when we first were hanging out? It was like short, like huh? Didn't you have like a bob when we first started hanging out? Please go back to the A line bob. That was my dad's favorite haircut. It's pretty long right now. Um, I just it just is like growing like crazy, and I want to cut it, but I needed to get at least ten inches so I could donate it first. Oh, and cool. I just I had a real haircut since my dad passed, and. I do have a friend that cuts hair, and she's cut the girl's hair, and, and she did trim mine up a couple times, but it's weird trusting anybody else with my hair, you know? And even if you, like a year or so before he passed, because he was sick first. So, I don't know. It's hard. Like, just trims is all I've had, and I know I need to chop this off, and then I, I'll feel so much better, and then I'll be able to donate it, and I'll feel doubly better, <laughs> I had I super long like hair a year ago, and I felt so much better after I cut it off because it was like a burden. I felt like I had all my emotions there, and so when I cut it off, I could be a little bit more free. So that's why I'm like, I don't care anymore. She also hid behind her hair, though. Like, when we first met, she would definitely hide behind her hair, and I didn't know how beautiful her eyes were until she cut it off. Oh, Aw, that's so sweet. You're just in love. I'm that's just really in love. Cute. <laughs> so anyway I think we were in I feel like it would be smoother oh look I'm already getting red from the shot <laughs> red. Ooh, I'm being quiet I feel it Ooh, shall be quiet wow getting older <laughs> getting older your drinking has changed She is. I don't think the room is locked. That's uh, not. I can see the unlock button. Let's lock it. Oh, oh she wait. disappeared. Okay, I'm going to unlock it and try to bring her back in. Hopefully, we don't get any visitors. Let's. Oh, I think you could. In. in I, don't have, I don't have anybody to invite. Who, who do you have to invite? I have a lot of people on my list. She always has a lot of people on her list. She's very popular. That's true. There she, there she is. I got, I got kicked. I don't know how I'm going outside. Um, well, I know the connection's gonna be better. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. Yeah, my, my room is quieter, but it's like a dead zone for the Wi-Fi. So, was anybody reading anything during the quarantine? Oh my God! I told her that you're watching. You're reading Untamed. You. I am I don't, but I know that Glennon was on there. I haven't listened to that one. I've listened to her with Brene Brown and everything else she's done because so, I read I read Love Warrior and I didn't care for it because I'm like, she's being fake. Turns out she was. So now well, it's like, well, okay, she's 100% true now. And it's like, whoa, well, very different. Well, and it's interesting you say that because she talks all about that on the podcast with Dax Shepard. Yeah. She talks about that she was in the middle of a divorce when Love Warrior was re- when Love right. Warrior was getting re- be released. She talks about how she met Abby and like it's so weird because when she talks about how she met Abby and like the super gay um, like the way that they met was it's totally like one of those really bad B rated gay movies. It really is. Um, it's it's so weird because I was listening to her talk about how she met Abby and like that connection. And it, I'm super, I'm super gay too. When I talk about how I met Karen, my wife, and I was listening to it, and I was like, oh god, somebody else had that same right. record experience that I did. No, um, I think I think that it's pretty universal because I had that same th- thing. Oh, did you? I did. 